Good morning all. Uh, just a quickie, on this breadboard here, just that yellow one there, I've got a, a red LED shining bright. And uh, also you can see that there are three transistors there. But uh, what's interesting is the voltage that's being put onto this circuit. It's not a stable voltage, it's actually here on the scope. It's a square wave that's uh, changing in voltage between about, well, what's that? That's just under six volts to just under 10 volts. So there's a huge uh, change in voltage and yet that's not visible on the LED. The LED uh, has a constant current running through it and is therefore at a relatively constant brightness. Um, so let's just see the effect of changing the uh, offset voltage on the scope. I'm actually using the scope's uh, waveform generator to generate this waveform. So let's lower the uh, offset voltage, bring it down. So the lower voltage is actually quite low. Let's bring that down to two volts. So that's now uh, two volts. This is two volts per division. Two volts is the lower voltage and the higher voltage is about six volts. We've got four volts there peak to peak is the amplitude of the square wave. And now, of course, you can see that the um, current regulators are not regulating and the brightness of the LED is uh, very visible. Let's take this back up so that the minimum voltage is about well, five volts or something like that, between five volts and uh, nine volts now. And once again, you can see that uh, we have a completely stable LED brightness constant current courtesy of these transistors. So what are these transistors? Well, they're JFETs and uh, they have this sort of um, current limit, this inherent maximum current. So yes, they work as a very simple uh, current limiting circuit, which is ideal for an LED. Now, why have I got three here? Well, because the current limit for this particular transistor is rather low. And if I pull out uh, two of them, you can see that the LED is not particularly bright because this particular JFET is limiting the current to something rather low. But you can still see that there's no um, change in brightness with this 5 hertz variation between currently about 5 and 9 volts. It's completely isolating that and providing a constant brightness glow. Um, so let's see what uh, this looks like when you current limit it in the conventional way. So let's take out this JFET, that of course switches off. And now I'm going to put um, a 1K resistor into this circuit. And, you know, that's the conventional way to limit current. But the current uh, through an LED is only regulated, it's only constant, if the voltage to the circuit is constant if you're using a resistor. And here, the voltage to the circuit is varying wildly and quite quickly, five hertz the uh, wave generator is set to. And therefore, with a 1K resistor, yes, you certainly do see the uh, difference in brightness between um, the five volt level and the nine volt level. So let's take this resistor out and put uh, one of these JFETs back in. I can't really do that with the pliers very easily. Now the JFET um, has a link, which you probably noticed sitting here, linking source, um, no, linking the gate to the source, the middle pin is source, this end pin is gate, drain is up the top there. And uh, when you link a uh, gate to source, in other words, you have a gate source voltage of zero, then you get this uh, current limited channel through the end channel of this end channel uh, depletion mode JFET and uh, the consequent stable light output with a wildly varying uh, input voltage. Now let's see if we can uh, change some of the uh, parameters of the incoming voltage. Uh, so as I indicated I've got four volts peak to peak on my square wave and seven and a half volts from ground which is here now, of course, that 7.5 volts is to the center of the square wave because this is a, a wave generator and it kind of does a positive bit and then a negative bit 
Uh, so it's not 7.5 volts to the bottom of that wave. But let's increase the amplitude of that. I don't think I can take it very far because I'm kind of near the limits of the wave generator's uh, maximum voltages. But that's taking it up to 5 volts of swing. There's about 5 volts of um, from ground up to the bottom voltage. So we're, we're switching this LED between about 5 volts and 10 volts. Um, let's switch to the offset. Can I put any more? No, that's that's maximum offset, 7.5 volts. I can drop that down, of course. And if I do that, then we get into a region where we can start to see the, um, the change in brightness because the bottom voltage is actually very low. That's just over, only just over 2 volts there. If you get enough uh, voltage as your base voltage, then yes, you can have quite wild swings between the lowest voltage and the highest voltage and a constant brightness because of the uh, constant current JFET. And uh, if we look at the Wikipedia article on current source, um, a current source is an electronic circuit that delivers or absorbs an electric current which is independent of the voltage across it. And then if I go to page four, I think it was, we've got um, in the section simple transistor current sources, what they call the constant current diode. The simplest constant current source or sink is formed from one component, a JFET with its gate attached to its source. Now you can add um, a resistance here between gate and source. You put um, the gate to ground source therefore uh, rises up above ground and it says here due to the large variability in saturation current of JFETs it is common to also include a source resistor um, which means you can tune the current to the desired value and I've been playing with different resistors here and indeed with different uh, models of JFET but I found this one the J201 to be most effective at providing a completely constant current with this very large swing in voltage, almost a doubling of the voltage here from about 5 volts up to, well, what's that? That's, uh, yeah, that's pretty much 10 volts there. Yeah, so there it is. Um, if you've got a voltage supply which is wildly unstable and you don't want that to be reflected in the brightness of your indicator LED, you can just simply use a JFET instead of a resistor and get a completely stable brightness output. Cheerio. Good morning all. Uh, just a quickie. Oh, for 